One challenge often raised against pandeism is that it proposes consciousness on the part of an entity that, prior to becoming our universe, exists as pure energy, or even as a force precedent to energy itself. Some people seem to find it quite disconcerting, that an entity not made of physical stuff, as we normally perceive it, could think, act, or create in any way. And yet, this is precisely what is occurring in this very moment, as you ponder these words. What are we, living thinking beings? We are, every one of us, a collection of molecular machines, which are made of atoms joined together in various configurations, which are in turn made of subatomic particles. Electrons jump around, at close to the speed of light, to random points within unimaginably small shells. Your brain, the very fountain of your consciousness, is made of nothing more than electrons, protons and neutrons, which may themselves be made from inestimably more minute particles, or mere forces mimicking particles. And what's more, most of your brain, like all matter, is empty space. In a typical atom of hydrogen, the most abundant element in our universe, if the proton were the size of a golf ball placed at the center of a football stadium, the electron would be a grain of rice jumping from place to place, somewhere out in the stands. The most remarkable thing about all this is that only empty space stands between them. Not a gas or a plasma or some form of ether, but nothingness itself. And yet, across that nothingness, the information is communicated that permits the electron to stay within its shell. Across the nothingness between atoms in a molecule, the information is communicated that permits those atoms to hold together. And across the nothingness between the molecules that compose the cells of your brain, the information is communicated that permits you to record, recall, contemplate, synthesize information, and take physical actions. Italian astrophysicist Paul Azizi has determined that the state of energy shortly following the Big Bang could have created a quantum computer, a moment of consciousness experienced by the expanding universe itself, a theory which has been labeled, the Big Wow. If it can be shown, in this way, that energy can flow, in any form that permits consciousness, then it is entirely plausible that such a form preceded such energy becoming our universe, and so pandeism can be demonstrated to be scientifically justifiable.